Today, a hometown hockey hero is returning to Buffalo and bringing in a coveted prize with him. News 4's Michelle McClintock has the story live from the falls. Michelle. Well, that's right. Each player on the winning team gets to bring the Stanley Cup to their hometown. And today, it's Patrick Kane's turn. He and the Cup will be on a whirlwind tour of Western New York, and it starts right here this morning in Niagara Falls. The Cup will stop this morning at the Cave of the Winds in Niagara Falls. There will be a photo shoot on the Hurricane deck, which will be renamed Hurricane. Stanley Cup winner Patrick Kane will receive the key to the city. Then he meets with cancer patients at Roswell Park Cancer Institute, including 15-year-old Cameron McDonald. That it was in overtime, scored the game-winning goal and everything, and he's like the hero. He'll always be a hero forever. Kane will visit the construction site of the new Heart and Vascular Center on Buffalo's medical campus. One of the beams is marked. Kane wins Stanley Cup in his honor. One of Patrick's father's friends is an iron worker on the construction project and uh, he put it up a couple days after they won the Stanley Cup. He will also have a closed door meeting with Buffalo police and firefighters showing them Lord Stanley's Cup. Now your best chance to see Patrick Kane will be this morning at, at around 9 o'clock here at the Cave of the Winds. We will be following this story all morning long here on Wake Up and bring you the latest on any sightings of Patrick Kane here in the falls. Reporting live, Michelle McClintock, News 4 Wake Up.